How's it going, everyone? Welcome back into Earth Nerd. If you're just now tuning in to this video, this is actually part two of a video that we uploaded on Monday discussing some of the seasons that would be good for new fans of Power Rangers to get into. This is part two of that video, and we're going to be going over Power Rangers RPM as well as Chojin Sentai Jetman, a Super Sentai season. So we figured it'd be cool to add in a Super Sentai season in there for maybe fans that would also be looking forward to into Super Sentai, which is the Japanese show that Power Rangers is based off of. So yeah, we hope you enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. But yeah, I think we should uh, move on now to uh, Power Rangers RPM, probably the most unique Power Rangers season there will ever be. Uh, it, it, this takes a place one. <laughs> in, a dy in a dystopian alternate timeline where the Power Rangers have already lost. Vengex has killed almost the entirety of Earth's population. There's only one city left uh, named Corinth. This is a very dark season of Power Rangers, but not. Uh, but what I like about it is that it's not. Uh, it's not dark in the way that the uh, like the uh, Power Slash Rangers short film was, where it was just like blood guts like swearing drugs you know it, it like like rpm didn't lose the meaning of power rangers there's still some like really goofy things that happen here it still is power rangers but it takes itself much more seriously which uh which i thought was really cool yeah i really enjoyed watching rpm um yeah the just the premise you know just the first couple minutes you're like is this like Terminator slash Mad yeah. Max meets Power Rangers. And it, it is like, yeah. it really, it's this weird post-apocalyptic thing where like the Power Rangers seem to basically work for the city. Like they're like an installed part of the, yeah. I don't know, law enforcement's the wrong word, but just like protecting current is like, and it seems to me like they're often more like, maybe vigilante isn't the right word, but you know, not operating within like I the mean, local government in the way that they are here in RPN. So like, they yeah yeah um, like well yeah you mean in other shows yeah 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 um and yeah um I, and you're absolutely right about how it does keep that that fun just heart and warmth that the the franchise is known for while you know putting these grittier elements into play like one of my I think maybe my favorite episode of the first five of RPM was the last one and it's basically this long stupid filler bit about like a, a robotic hand running around and yeah. screwing with the power and it was just so funny like yeah. I, it, it, it was really... kind of kinda like a robot <laughs> evil dead kind of like yes yeah, yeah. It, it kept me on the edge of my seat and uh i'm i'm dylan is another one where he's very brooding he's like yeah. they, they really want their their badasses they want you to know who these guys are and yeah. how edgy they are immediately and like i'm here for it but with dylan <laughs> I, I'm more interested to to see more of his backstory. Yeah. It seems like he's like a cyborg. He's got amnesia. We don't really have all the pieces yet. But edginess aside, I did I did really enjoy him and his chemistry with uh, the rest of the team, particularly Ziggy. Um, Ziggy yeah. is kind of this fast talking goof who becomes the Green Ranger um, within these first few episodes. Even though it's not doesn't seem like his destiny, you know, like that was what he was supposed to do but yeah um, yeah the rangers were definitely not too happy whenever <laughs> no, no they were not <laughs> but like, like okay well you could have the bad guy be the green ranger if you want then uh you know like yeah. i had to do what i had to do yeah you you got oh. like this this crazy juxtaposition where there's like a bunch of like gnarly looking drones like bombing the city and then you've got these brightly colored power rangers with like little tire decals on their calves like going like skr, skr, like like <laughs> yeah. while they're in the middle of a battle and like it's cheesy but in like the most fun yeah. lovable way possible so rpm was a blast um yeah the cool thing one of the cool things about rpm is that it's one of the darkest power ranger seasons and then one of the most whacked out goofy super sentai seasons mm -hmm. uh so i have no idea how they did it but if you watch if you ever watch uh engine sentai go onger which is what rpm was based off of uh, you will go how the did they make <laughs> rpm out of this yeah uh it is it is honestly kind of cool to see um uh what are your thoughts on the uh kind of dr k reveal at the end of the we he, you watched episode five yes uh, i did yeah uh 
was I supposed to know who that was? And I missed something. Yeah. So, I mean, the whole, like, like I mean, the, the whole reveal was that they thought that, like, Dr. K was this, like, just, like, old man. Yeah. And then it turns out she's, like, a 16 or, like, a like a 18, 20-year-old girl. Yeah. You know? So, okay. so I mean, cool. that, Yes. Yeah. I, did, yeah. I enjoyed that, but I was, like... I was worried, like, is it, did I miss someone? Is yeah. this a character from a different show? It no, no, felt no, no, like, no. Yeah. oh, here they are. But, okay, yeah. understood. But yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, I, you know, she's she, the... she has, she has a direct impact on everything that's yeah. happening right now. Like, she is, like, directly involved with, like, the entire events of the show, which mm-hmm. which ends up being really cool. Um, I think uh, a lot of the villains are really cool, especially uh, Tanaya Seven. Uh, Vengex shows up uh, in later seasons of the show. Uh, kind of spoiler, uh, even though they didn't really tease it at all whenever he came back, and then he just randomly came back out of nowhere. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been the main villain the whole time. Anyway, uh, so sorry, that's about Beast Morphers. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, Tanaya Seven's really cool. She she has a lot to do with the the over overall plot. I think I think why honestly, I think this. And Dino Fury is probably the best place for new fans to start because um, I feel like this is the most grounded Power Ranger season. I think it's the easiest to get into because it takes itself seriously. But but like I said before, it also has some of the goofiness sprinkled in, so it really eases new fans into it who are like typically into just like Marvel, DC, Star Wars, or whatever. Just like um, for lack of a, I not more normal franchises but just the mo- more mainstream franchises i think is a better yeah. term uh uh and so um i i think i think it's easier for for uh mainstream audiences to get into with rpm but also dino fury too i think i think it's fairly uh easy to get get into it does have a little more of the power Ranger cheese there uh but i think dino fury also takes itself more seriously than other power ranger uh, uh seasons so i think i think both of those are probably two really good ones to get into but now we got something completely out of left field uh a super sentai season that we think uh people should get into uh children's sentai Jetman, widely considered one of if not, not the best super sentai season out of its entire 46 season run uh so uh corbin what were your uh initial reactions to i the first five episodes of yep. Jetman? Yep. yeah so yeah, this was one that I was pro- definitely the most excited to to check out. Um, having you know, I, I'd only ever heard of Sentai, uh, Super Sentai. My my stepsister is a really big fan, um, and she you know. By I the a way, little, little on, bit before I, before I go, uh, to, uh, for since this is an introductory video for people who aren't into Power Rangers, uh, Super Sentai is the Japanese program that Power Rangers is based off of. So Super Sentai has been running for years before Power Rangers existed. And this is one of the, the seasons that occurred before we started doing Power Rangers in the States, just to clarify, just yeah. so if, if people if people aren't aware of that. So anyway, continue. No, it's absolutely a good call. Yeah, and it, it came out in 1991. So it's a lot older than, than any of the other shows on this list, uh, even yeah. in space. Um, yeah. I think that works to its advantage, right? Like Chojin Sentai Jetman has this unique kind of like... I don't even know how to put it into words well. It's got it yeah. just has an energy like nothing else I've ever <laughs> yeah. seen. It's so fun and like in your face, but yeah. Um and I think the music is a big part of it. Like I just I love the theme song and the credits. Yes. Oh and, my like, gosh. Just yeah. the score throughout. It really adds to the atmosphere and like yeah. it's it's early 90s uh did they make these in Japan? I don't want to. Yes. yes. Yeah. Early nineties, Japanese uh, television. And like, I haven't seen very little of that. Um, uh, almost none. And like, I want to see more. It hooked me like immediately. Um, probably the only thing I didn't love about this show was they, they play the black Ranger as a real asshole initially. Right. Just like a big jerk. Yeah. And, like, I appreciated that in the sense that I, I totally wasn't expecting that for them to, yeah. to go go so hard with, um, with you know, just making yeah. him kind of despicable. Yeah. I, I'm also, like, worried, like, can I grow to love it, Guy or uh, yeah. if I'm saying his name right? Like, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, this guy, yeah. Um, so it, it's – so this is another long season. I think this is uh, 51 episodes. Uh, but – 
believe it or not, <laughs> they are able to do it. Okay. They did it pretty well. <laughs> right. Um, on. I was with you. I, I, whenever because um, uh, uh with the Illuminati, uh, we had this show called Retro Sentai Wrap Up, mm. where um, uh. Uh, me and one of my other co-hosts uh, were kind of in the same boat uh, where we weren't really, uh, we had never really watched too much Super Sentai before. We were in the Power Rangers, but we didn't watch a lot of Super Sentai before. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then Blackwing was able to like kind of uh, 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 introduce us, uh, one of the hosts, uh, to introduce us to Super Sentai through Jetman. Uh, and and I was definitely with you, man. I was like, "Holy cow, he is yeah. like um, like borderline irredeemable." Yeah. Um, but they are actually I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't know how they did it, but <laughs> but you were by the end of the show. I I think uh, you were able to like like and appreciate guy. Guy still has his problems, but mm-hmm. guy d- changes dr- drastically. Okay. About the show. Well, so that's good to know. Yeah. He yeah. has he has the, he has probably the most character development out of any of the characters. Yeah. And just speaking of the team as a whole, that was another thing I loved about this. I feel like this has the like just in terms of characterization, the most diverse team out of any mm-hmm. on this list. Like they're all just so different from each other. Um like the the Yellow Ranger, for example. And that, something else I loved about this is like I'm, I am calling them Yellow Ranger, but like that's not what they call them on the show. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not Power Rangers. It's Tojin Sentai Jetman. So you've got like yeah. r- Red Hawk and White Swan yeah. and like Yellow Owl and like the whole thing is bird themed, right? Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like flight. Like there's a, uh, there's something called Birdonic Waves, which like I can explain them maybe, but I implore you to just go on Tubi, pull up Tojin Sentai <laughs> Jetman, and experience it for yourself. Like yeah. it's. It works, and the comedy is so, like, off-kilter, and like I said, just unlike anything I've seen before. Um, yeah, by the way, so Jetman is uh, streaming for free on Tubi. Uh, Tubi is a completely free uh, streaming platform, mm-hmm. so uh, you can you can watch you can watch uh, Jetman for completely free. Uh, Power Rangers in Space in its entirety is also available to view for free on uh, the official Power Rangers YouTube channel. Uh, Dino Fury is, is a Netflix original, so you have to watch that on Netflix. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about Netflix's problems, but but <laughs> so <laughs> and then and then RPM currently isn't available to to uh, stream easily, but it will eventually be available on the Power Rangers YouTube channel. They're just going down the line of all the and, and it takes a while. I mean, it was season 17, so it takes a while for them to get there. But yeah, so most most of all of these shows are available to stream completely free, mm-hmm. which is really really cool about all of this. Uh, but yeah, the Bionic waves are pretty pretty goofy. <laughs> I think I think you know, like a lot of uh, like a, a lot of these character uh, like or like with their experience, there's a lot of like air based combat. Yeah, uh, and like like air force ish kind of. Uh, motif and so i think that's where the birds came from it's definitely really goofy really wacky but i think it works it does it uh, really does yeah <laughs> yeah but, uh, uh, oh, so uh, i was just gonna kind of move on to uh sort of the relationships going on because the uh, relationships that go on throughout the show are are probably the most important part of the show uh this Jetman, believe it or not uh is pretty much a uh, Power Rangers Super Sentai love story. Uh, so, uh, and you got to see a little bit of that in uh, episodes four and five. So kind of what, what were your thoughts on that so far? Yeah, so um, I really enjoyed Peori's storyline um, where she's basically got this person who's betrothed to her and he yeah. is just interested in the marriage for the financial part of it. Uh, I thought that and... She's kind of, well, should I just go along with this or do I become my own person? And like, it's it's not a complex storyline, but I thought it was yeah. well written and well told. I was engaged the whole time. And I think Kaori is uh, probably my favorite from the team. Mm. Um, uh, I loved her suit, especially. It's like, yeah, it's like a, a white and pink mix kind of thing. yeah they usually um, do that with the female white rangers they they have it like with like white and pink accents or whatever um but yeah and then it seems like um the red ranger and the black ranger like ryu and, and guy have a bit of a 
rivalry, butting yeah. heads kind of thing. Um, and yeah, it seems like Kauri just get you know that's the triangle. I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They're, 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 that's set up a little bit. Um, not a, not a ton, but they both seem to have you know an interest in her. But it's also like they're all part of the part of the same team. So I yeah. didn't know how much to read into it. You know, is this? Yeah. Yeah. No, no they definitely go all in on that. Uh, that is like the entire basically storyline of the show. Okay. Uh, is is the three of them? Uh, so so that is something that's really cool to get to see uh, develop as the show goes on. And even even just the relationship between Ryu and Guy mm -hmm. going throughout the show, uh, seeing them go from from uh like i like absolutely despise you to like okay we can work with each other i guess to like actually being friends is is a really cool like uh storyline and arc that they do right uh, which is really cool um i don't know how much uh I, I don't remember how much was revealed with um maria at mm -hmm. this time but that also is involved with all of the kind of love story everything maria so, being uh the girl that ryu knew who gets like sucked yeah, out of his face yeah by so the, maria yeah. maria and ray Rie are the same person yeah so, yeah so what i saw was we see her disappear presumably dead gone whatever and then the virum am i saying that right they're the bad guys yeah, yeah. um they are the primary you know antagonists of this and there's like basically like three or four of them who are like the primary like the main yeah. bad guys and um, I think it was episode five. Might have been episode four. And one of those, Ryu, and, you know, they're fighting um, one of these Varum. And he's like, wait, it's you. What the hell? Yeah. But uh, so they didn't explain that, it at all. Yeah, so that. that's actually one of my biggest problems with the show. Because they completely forget about that. <laughs> like, oh, like, no. like they, <laughs> they completely, like, 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 we don't get to see any of that until like way further down the line. And, the, and, the, and then they basically, he, he, he gets it re revealed to him. And then I was like, wait a minute, but you, you already, you knew, you already realized. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, so yeah, that was one of my major like what the hell kind of things uh, that it. happened with that show because yeah, they completely forgot all about that. Uh, but honestly, that's very Jetman of them. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I can dig it. But Jetman, Jetman, I think uh, is going to be the hardest out of these to get into uh, just as a new viewer. But but it, it, this is like more so if. If you're already kind of familiar with Power Rangers and you're curious about Super Sentai, this is a good place to start. You know, I, I don't know if I would necessarily suggest somebody who's watched neither Power Rangers nor Super Sentai just go, all right, Jetman, you know, <laughs> but but I think I think if you're already like somewhat familiar with Power Rangers and kind of like the like how how the tone is with that i think jetman is a really good start for for people getting into super sentai so yeah is there anything else you'd like to kind of say about really any of these shows yeah the the last thoughts i had on on jetman was just um yeah. i quite enjoyed the the action sequences you know there's some good fights and some like real kind of funny moments like they they have this commander who's a real mm -hmm. hardened badass and she's like training them uh, and they're like uh, just wearing like geese and she just beats their asses. And she's just like <laughs> flipping them around and throwing them. And she's like, "You guys suck!" Like you couldn't even. Yeah. Couldn't even. Uh, anyways, um, and then in regards to the Zords, the you don't actually get to see this. This was the only one I think where we don't get to see them in like the you know standing humanoid mm -hmm. Zord thing. They tease that for episode six. So. Oh really? You, I didn't. I don't remember them mm -hmm. taking that long. That's we, crazy. We see the them. I forget what they call it, but their planes combine into some other big flying plane. It turns into like a damn thing. Yeah, I don't remember actually. that either. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, at the end of it, they teased the Zord for episode six. But um, if you're worried about that, just a small little side note. I'm probably going to watch episode six uh, at the very yeah. least just for that. Because I was like, yeah. well, I've made it this far. <laughs> yeah. And I would also just add that um, I agree. It's definitely like the weirdest and the most yeah. just like, I don't know, out there uh, of, yeah. of these four shows. But it's also the one that I watched first out of the whole group. Mm -hmm. um, and it might be my favorite. I don't know. I'm, cool. I, I don't know if I like Jetman or RPM better at this point. I thought they were both really, really entertaining. Um, awesome. So, 
Yeah, but I, I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm excited to get more into the franchise, watch some more of these shows, maybe check out some new ones. And um, yeah, so thank you for, for putting me onto this. And hopefully some of you guys watch this and check out some of these shows or yeah. just any, any Power Rangers, any Super Sentai, and uh, let us know what you think. Yeah, for sure. Let us know your thoughts on this. Uh, do you agree with our picks? Do you think there's other seasons that would be even better for new fans to watch? Uh, definitely let us know in the comments below. And yeah, stay tuned for for some more awesome content coming to the Earth Nerd channel. This is a completely new era. We've got really cool stuff planned. And yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. See you yep. all later. Thanks, everyone.